Okay, let's flip through my bullet journal from 2020 to 2021. I um, started doing bullet journals in June because someone gave me a book, so that's how my year tends to run. Let's see. So here's my, I always like to do a page just to represent the whole year and having a, a quote. This one is by Mary Oliver, love her. Um, it says, instructions for living a life, pay attention, be astonished, tell about it. Um, these are my aspirations, which are different from goals. Goals are measurable. Aspirations are just things I want to do. This is my bookshelf. I ran out of books. Um, Skillshare classes, movies, TV shows which I watched a bunch of TV shows last year, so I gave two pages for this, but then didn't need the two pages. So I'll go back to one for next year. That's the great thing about bullet journals. Here is my summer page. It's sort of a glittery thing. Sometimes you just have to go with the waves, and I like to have a seasonal quote. So there is my summer page. Here is my June layout with all this citrus brightness. I really enjoyed this layout. And most of the layouts I've been doing recently, as we'll see as I get through, tend to be some mixture of marker and ink. Um, the ones that I like anyways. This next one, that is a mess. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I didn't have this one planned out very well. It looks terrible, but hey, it's very bright. And then in August, after July, I went back to a way more minimal layout here. And now we're on to fall. I like to do, or autumn, I like to do a layout for each season. So this is sort of a fairy tale inspired one. Um, I have a fairy tale book that sort of um, has the decorations like this. And then there was someone else. When I did my original video on this, I put the other person. And so my quote for Autumn, I've had so many names, old names, that only the wind and the trees can pronounce. And I believe this quote is from Pan's Labyrinth. So here's my September layout. It's very, I used a bunch of metallic pens on it. Um, this was inspired by a birthday card my sister sent me. And then in September, I got a different job. And well, right at the end of September. So when we get to my October layout, it was pretty well planned out and structured. And I think it came out really cool. But then, because I had just started my job in the end of September, by the time it came to do my November layout, I didn't even know uh, which way was up. So my November layout is sort of a mess. I meant to have all these sort of spiky looking trees with owls and it's like weird colors and I don't even know what's happening here. So I was just busy. So that being busy is sort of reflected in my winter layout. Um, this is watercolor and I really prefer to do these seasonal um, layouts in marker. Um, but watercolor is easier to some extent. I don't know. Um, this quote is, may the wind under your wings bury you where the sun sails and the moon walks, which of course is from The Hobbit. It's the blessing of the eagles, which I thought was sort of appropriate for wintertime. <clears throat> and then, so I'm still adjusting to my new job at this point. And then when we get to December, I wanted something decent. So I just honestly copied something I found on Pinterest. This is journal by Kim. Um, I'll leave a link below to that person, but I thought that was really cute and it was going to be easy for me to do with being so busy. So, um, this one, yes, I totally was inspired by someone else. Then this one, I just started doodling mountains and it just sort of got away from me, but I like it. I like the sort of muted colors. Um, and the pink, yellow, and gray works for me for January for some reason. And then the next one is February, uh, which 
This is watercolor, which doesn't do that great on the Loistrum paper, um, but not super terrible. I kind of like this one. Um, I like the different shades of red and just sort of the doodles everywhere. So yeah, that's my three winter layouts. Back around to spring. This is um, in honor of the sun coming back. This is the sun tarot card. Um, this is meant to be a little rocking horse. The sun tarot card has like a naked baby on a horse carrying this flag on it for most of what I saw with sunflowers, see, um, not seeds, flowers. And I just didn't want to draw the baby. So I made a rocking horse with a flag that may not make any sense. Here's my quote for spring. I took a walk in the woods and came out taller than the trees, which I'm okay with. I'm not really, I wish I would have used a lighter red than this one. It's sort of too dark, but whatever. Um, and then March was me sort of being lazy again. This is just scrapbook paper, washi tape, every single green piece of washi tape I had, a bunch of scrapbook paper that I tore up, which you can't really read this too well, but I don't know. I think it's cute. It was sort of low, low effort on my part. Um, but yeah, my green layout. This is April. Look at all these events in April. This is like the most since February of 2021 or 2020. Uh, things started happening. I did get my vaccine this month. So yay. Um, this is inspired by someone I don't remember. It's someone on Instagram. I will put a link there. But anyway, I just really like the details on the flowers. And this is, once again, more of a simplistic for me compared to like that July one layout that's just sort of design with ink. That's what I'm calling it. And then here's my May layout, which is sort of a reverse or negative because instead of coloring the lilies of the valley, I made them black and white and then I colored the background, which is sort of a departure because I really don't like coloring a lot of stuff in with markers because it's, I don't know, unless you do layers upon layers, it's hard to avoid that streakiness right there. But anyway, I like this layout. I would call this one also simplistic despite the amount of marker work on it. And then at the um, end of, so my year ends when May ends. So I will do my reflections um, for the past 2020 and 2021. I'll fill all these in um, after the end of May and just reflect on the past year. And every month I do, which that one bled through, so it's hard to read this, but this is my May Reflections page, which I'll finish off when May is finished. I don't know when I'll put this up, but I'm filming this in May, so I haven't filled out my reflections yet. All right, so that is my 2020-2021 bullet journal.